Privet. Privet. That would be the American gangster. Privet. What's up? Whew, I crack myself up. What's up, Russia? How you doing? This is the professor, the nutty professor today. I am the hobo professor. I need to shave. I'm going to shave this morning. It's I got up about 11.30 at night. I woke up and said, I have to go answer messages on VK. What? Crazy. Hey, uh, Anna, Regina, thank you so much for the group. I really appreciate it. I, um, I'm touched by it. But that's not why we're here, to hear me uh, fawning over my Russian friends. We are here to discuss a film that I watched. I took some notes on it, right? <laughs> they weren't very helpful on this one. I know everybody was like, wow, that you, you were able to figure out, like, the cranes. That is the coffee pot. Boy, this is going to be a terrible video, isn't it? The film is, uh... Hmm... Vensa na... Sarkeal... <laughs> Uh, let's try this again. Um, yes, Vesna na Zarkona Oltai Spring on Zarkona Street. That's what she said. Um, and it was English subtitled, which was helpful, kind of, but I still don't know what the hell was going on. I watched this film. It was recommended uh, to me by one of my Russian friends, and they said that they watched it a couple times a month. And, uh, you know, here's kind of what I could... I could put together from the film, even with the subtitles. But I'm going to have some questions. Maybe you guys can help me out here. So you have this, you have this, uh, I think her name was Sasha. She is a literary teacher, looks like Russian history, literature, uh, classic literature maybe. And she's being brought into, it looks like a small town, to teach night school to grown-ups um, who have various jobs, but they're continuing their education. Is that right? Um, and then there's a guy, and I and I couldn't tell because there was a dude that that was kind of the class clown, who was always goofing off, but he had the hots for Sasha. I couldn't tell if he was a dude who drove her into town or was he a different guy because they kind of looked alike. I kept getting confused, like which guy was which. Is that the driver? Is that the class clown? Or are they the same? I don't know. So you see these these antics of her trying to get control of the class, this one disruptive student who will not cooperate. And um, and what we find out is maybe he suffers from RAD, uh, or was it RAD? Uh, AD, Reactive Attachment Disorder, where he really likes the teacher, but instead of just being a, 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 a decent guy and, and getting to know her, he, he's, kind of, he's kind of a class clown and interrupts class and, and does all this stuff, and they kind of like each other is kind of the gist I'm getting, but you have, I don't know, is she, uh, she's educated, he's not, you know, does she come from money, and he doesn't, it's like the two worlds colliding the wrong side of the tracks, and we see this love story kind of play out, or this wanted love story, I'm going to assume it's a love story, uh, <laughs> this is either a very romantic movie, <sighs> or it's stalking, <laughs> one of the two, there's a fine line between romance and stalking, remember that my young friends, there's a fine line between being romantic and being a stalker, you gotta watch that line constantly, watch that line not to cross over it, um, but there's a couple things here that I, that I have for you, I'm, oh. so number one, got my notebook, number one, why are they taking night classes, like this was film was like in 1956 or something, were they trying to get their GED? Does Russia have GEDs? Was this like college? Like, why would they care in 1956? I don't think anybody cared about education in 56. Not just in Russia. I mean, in the world. Like, who was pressing on for a college degree in 1956? It was like you could you could be the vice president of the coal mine and nobody cared that you had no degree. You just worked your way up. So that's number one. I didn't understand why they were there. Number two, the boarding school. Were they in a boarding school? Was it a boarding school for grown-ups? I didn't understand that. 35 minutes into the moving, there's a smoking scene where they're in the window and they have some kind of exchange going back and forth. Um, I had no idea what the hell they were talking about, what they were doing, right? I had no idea. Um, and then my last thing is, 
I'm assuming they get together because at the end, you know, where the papers are flying around, you know, they have these papers flying around because he sneaks in through the window. Again, fine line between romantic and stalking. <laughs> he sneaks into the window and opens it and all their papers fly up and they have this moment that they share the moment. Um, but th there was no resolution. I wanted to see him. Are they going to get married? Is she going to mace him? Is she going to have him arrested? Does she bear his babies? I mean, what... Is it happily ever after, or is it a restraining order? I don't know. And that really bummed me out, that I couldn't figure out, like, what the heck happened. So, any thoughts and comments you guys have on that would be greatly appreciated. You can hit me up down there in the comments. And go to VK, dude. I'm on VK. I'm rocking it. I'm throwing elbows. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I'm, I'm, <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm going to stop right now. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love.